The theater of modern warfare is constantly evolving with today's infantrymen, facing a whole host of new threats that never existed previously. Drones, for instance, have revolutionized the ways in which states carry out attacks, often offering inexpensive and highly effective solutions to undertake strikes without the need to risk personnel. But in the same way that nation states can use drones adversaries may also benefit. Weaponized drones pose an increasingly clear and present threat to soldiers stationed at sensitive or vulnerable locations. Identifying and taking out a fast-moving unmanned aerial vehicle can prove a futile challenge even for the greatest of sharpshooters. In order to address this threat, weapons designers across the world have developed a whole slew of solutions. Ranging from the use of trained eagles to locate and latch onto drones in mid-air to radio jamming technology. How does the technology work? Yet, the Smash 2000 Plus system, developed by Israeli outfit, Smart Shooter, is one counter-drone solution that the Indian Navy has identified as having the greatest promise. Simply, the Smash 2000 Plus scope enables a soldier using an assault rifle to lock onto moving targets within his or her field of view and shoot him down with the first round. In doing so, it has effectively integrated tank fire control technology onto the common assault rifle. A rifleman can use the scope to first track the target before holding down the trigger of the assault rifle. However, the scope will only allow the weapon to fire at the precise moment that it determines that a shot will surely strike the target. Using sophisticated algorithms, the technology calculates the movement of a target and predicts where it is likely to be advanced image processing. The Israeli manufacturer advertises the technology as putting a precision anti-drone capability at the fingertips of its users even going so far as to claim that it can strike tiny drones, moving at high speeds up to a range of 120 meters with the first shot. Key to the success of the technology has also been the weight factor. The technology has also been in use by the Israeli Defense Forces for several months, specifically those located at the Gaza border, where the threat of drones and incendiary balloons is said to be high.